Hey there. <laughs> am I recording? Yeah, there I am. Welcome to Texas. It actually looks like another planet out here right now. But I'm out here with the Chris Miller and we're looking at the job site. I'm gonna take you over here where we're gonna build the feature in a second. But in the meantime, Chris, tell us what we're doing out here. First of all, they said, come to Texas and build a truck. It'll be fun <laughs> in the middle of the winter. Average temperature is 50 and it's like 10 out now. So we're gonna build a stone truck. This is number four in a, ser a limited edition series of 10 in my lifetime that I'll do. Wow. And this is the most elaborate and extensive one yet. So I would say it's kind of a relaxing week because there's no artist of the year here to build their dream creation in the sandbox studio. But it sure doesn't seem boring. Chris and Ed and Greg are all down and a few other people, Colleen and Beth and Andrew, are all down in Florida doing the alligator build rec pond. You'll have to check out the video to quite understand that. Swimming with alligators, I don't get it. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. <laughs> but um, we're here, we're tearing down the old sandbox our guys did some training and today they're actually ripping out a pond that's been here inside of our retail store for probably a good five years always changing always evolving coming up with some new ideas flip it around show you what they're doing right now so there you got there's Jack and Taylor ripping this out this used to be one of our demo ponds this pond was about twice the size of these ponds over here because we have a giant pond back over there we figured we'd actually take this and turn it into more retail space just showing off some product. We don't have skimmers and biofalls and pond kits and some of those fundamental type stuff that we sell on the floor. And so we thought if we could open up some more real estate over here, we could really show that stuff. So they're well into it. They've been at it for about an hour and a half. Most of the ponds already ripped out. The one thing we forgot about was all the sand that needs to come out of here too. But I think we have a sandbox studio that could take it. So we should have this ripped out at the end of the day. Can't wait to show you the progress. These guys killed it yesterday. I of a hard job site because there's no way to get machines in everything had to be shoveled out i think they moved 18 ish gaylords of sand but in less than 10 hours this is what we got the last couple gaylords all these bricks were glued so they had to chisel them away but now we've got a big open floor plan to do a lot more merchandising and i know a few people over here especially our retail store manager is extremely excited about having more retail space we have plenty of demo ponds in here to explain things, but we don't have skimmers and biofalls and stuff. <laughs> It'll just be great to have pond kits and all that kind of stuff sitting in here. So the next step is I think just to kind of sweep this, clean it off, and we're gonna extend this racking just all the way down and then bring in some carpet, these little tiles. What's kind of unique about Aquascape too is you see how this floor drops down here? 90% of this building has what we call floating floor in all the the cables for all the computers and stuff run underneath all this stuff. So here's a solid concrete slab, but here was a drop down because at one point this was actually all customer service, more office cubicles and everything else. So we've got to find these things and then find the carpet squares and get all that stuff matched back up. It's getting there. <laughs> That's 100% why I have a job here. Hmm? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to a special Sunday edition of Team Aquascape. I am actually out here in Midland, Odessa. I think it's probably the coldest this place has ever been because everybody's pretty freaked out. It's about 20 degrees outside and there's snow, which is a pretty average day back in Chicago. The whole place is shut down. That's why I'm out here in the airport without a mask on because there is nobody here. Getting picked up by the one and only Chris Miller. Now, if you don't know who Chris Miller is, you need to check him out. He is like a first generation, second, third. I think his ancestors probably go back to when the pyramids were built because he is one of the most talented stonemasons I've ever, ever met. He is actually building a Ford pickup truck completely out of stone. And my job is to figure out somehow to get water coming out through it, around it, over it. I'm not even sure what, but I'm here to take you guys on that expedition with me. Let me go introduce you guys to Chris and we'll see what it's like out here in uh, sunny Texas. Not 
so sunny Midland though. <laughs> so this is so not Texas. I mean, it's snowy, sleet, who knows what this is crazy. Not for me, but I can see for Texans why this would be unusual and strange. There's my ride. Let's go introduce you guys to Chris. Oh my God. Even Chicago, this wouldn't be fun. Hey there. <laughs> Am I recording? Yeah, there I am. Welcome to Texas. It actually looks like another planet out here right now. So we have all these materials that came in from thousands of miles away on a semi the other day. You want me to show you what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is all wrapped up still, but this is a, the sign for the ranch that we're doing, which will be part of the waterfall. It'll have water coming through the sign. It's sort of show. <laughs> this you. is great. This is, so uh, we're actually, yeah. this is going to sit up at the headwater yeah. someplace and we'll get water coming in right through here. So water kind of pouring through these joints. And then of course we'll light it up with some underwater lights. This is all very gray granite from Vermont. Now this is something was, you did back at your shop in yeah. Vermont. I had a couple months of prefabricating everything, most of the parts in Vermont, and this is all done with a contour wire saw. With oh my God. Pattern and everything. <laughs> Show you on the other side here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. It's all wrapped up, unfortunately, still. But there's all kinds of components that have the chrome parts of the of the vehicle. They're all stacked in here. This is the front grill. Oh my gosh! Look at how beautiful. Now you yeah. did again. You did this yeah. all at your shop yep. before we came down here. Gray granite, black granite from India, white marble from Vermont as well, and more granite. And there's the V8 logo sign. I'll oh. we'll show you that all later. <laughs> and the headlights, which will have actual lights in them, and we have tail lights as well. But this grill I built ahead of time. This was about two and a half weeks just to build this. So I want to get all that done before we got on site. This is all the uh, building materials, actual blocks for all the sides and the walls. And so you have, you told me earlier, you have 40,000 pounds of stone sitting right here to build this truck. Yeah, it should be enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and a lot of the pieces, this pallet that you can't see, they're all the curved pieces that are already carved out. Over here is the foundation stones. The whole thing sits on and it'll sit up on, on top of that. It'll be a metal frame so you'll be able to see under the truck. Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, those are the bumpers. Those are the running boards. Those are the back railing. On top of there are the windows. All <laughs> done ahead of time. And then here's our product. <laughs> yeah. All wrapped up. All wrapped up nice and neat. Uh, a week and a half from now, it'll all sort of be the site when we're doing the waterworks. It'll look a lot different. And it's going to be 70 degrees. Oh yes. my God. <laughs> so it has to be record cold out here. I know it's going to get in the single digits tonight. Right now, it feels like it's probably about 10, maybe 18 degrees. Very, very similar to that Chicago weather. But I'm out here because I really wanted to just help kind of lace some things out. I feel so much better when I can see a project up close and personal it just helps me sleep at night a little bit better and then I can help visualize it before I get out here there's nothing worse than just being thrown into something and not know what you're doing and something like this because like Chris said it is gonna be the best of the four I really want to make sure I have all of our stuff out here and I'm gonna be inviting a few friends of mine some past artists of the year to come out here and help me do this but let's show you kind of the layout and how this is all gonna sit now you can tell this has all been built up that's not actually a snow mound it's actually a terrace that they've created to get this truck up a little bit higher. So right about where that pole is at there is close to the back edge of the truck. So water is gonna come out of the bed of the truck, drop down, come into a pool, and then we're gonna dig all of this out right in here and get another big drop all the way down into here. And like you know, so much of this is an organic process. So we'll probably get some water splitting around different waterfalls. The head, the, the more ranch sign is gonna sit over in there. We'll get some water coming out of there. But we've got 24 tons of boulders coming out not including all the gravel and other stuff we need underwater lights etc etc I am truly excited to work with somebody as talented as Chris we're gonna be back out here in a couple weeks two three weeks week and a half to <laughs> something like that get out here and get this thing all buttoned up Chris has got what would seem to be way more than a week's worth of work <laughs> left yeah, in front of him it's a two and a half week to do all the assembly here and I've got my crews coming in tomorrow and hopefully the weather's gonna start cooperating <laughs> <laughs> Just crazy. So I think, Chris, the next step is for us to go sit down and maybe put some ideas on paper. And, somewhere uh, warm. Yeah, someplace, <laughs> but not, someplace but not here right now because this is, this is ridiculous. Let's go show them that fountain that we drove past really quick. Okay. That way. <laughs>
So we are in a gated community here, and this just shows you exactly how cold, how cold it is out here in Texas. Even Chris and I. Just sunny Texas, yeah. they said. Yeah. Chris is from Vermont, and so he's very familiar with this weather. I'm familiar with this weather, but I guarantee you there's not a person here that is ready for that. <laughs> but man, that's kind of cool looking. I don't know what kind of food coloring they're adding to the water there, but. Yes, even water features in Texas can run all winter long. Now, my understanding is that Greg would just dive right in. Right? Yes, he would. that would be the, his he'd polar be looking, plunge. He'd be looking for turtles. Yeah. <laughs> just amazing. There you are. So that's a wrap. Chris Miller, unbelievable guy, super creative, and working with creative people is very inspiring and actually gets your own creative juices flowing. We've uh, spent a decent amount of time outside. We actually got a chance to go over to a closed rock yard. I would have loved to take you back there and actually show you some of the stone, but we would have had to jump a fence. It would have been difficult, but at least we found a stone yard that complements everything he's doing, and it's a stone I want to work with to build these waterfalls. It's it's gonna be truly an amazing project. I can't wait to show you guys uh, how we're gonna build all this stuff. A little tricky with the liner and everything else, but we're gonna figure it out. And I think, I honestly think, this is probably gonna be the beginning of several more of these things. I love the idea of doing these trucks. He's in fact, he's getting calls all over the country to do these. And if he can do stone trucks, I'm assuming he can do stone cars, stone excavators. Oh, that would actually be a cool one. A stone skid steer or something would be pretty cool. Anyways, thanks for joining. Can't wait to show you the progress. Here we go. Bye.